Today I'll show you how to connect your business email to Zendesk. This simple setup ensures your support operations are professional, efficient, and aligned with your brand. If you're using your own domain, don't connect an email that is an alias or a distribution group, since that could create issues with routing and troubleshooting. Connecting your email is the best way to ensure that all messages received through this channel are responded to efficiently. Additionally, it allows you to monitor performance, centralize your communication, enhance your brand presence, and optimize your customer service. There are two primary options, depending on your email provider. Email forwarding is ideal if you use Gmail. It routes incoming emails from your business address to Zendesk, where they are converted into support tickets. However, responses will appear as sent from Zendesk to your customers. Connecting email is recommended for custom domains. If you have your own domain, Connect your email directly. Zendesk will send emails on your behalf, using your domain to preserve your branding and ensure your emails look professional. Both options are easy to set up and ensure your customers receive timely and professional responses. Let's start by logging into your Zendesk account. Click on the product tray, the icon with four squares on the right corner. Navigate to the admin center. From the left hand menu, select channels, then choose email under the talk and email section. This is your email management dashboard, where you can manage all your email-related settings. Click Add Address, then click Connect External Address to start the process. You will need to select one method. For the purpose of this video, I'll select the Gmail Connector option, since I'll be using a Gmail account. If you have a different provider, you can choose Email Forwarding and follow the instructions. You have the option to create tickets for the last 50 emails you received. Click on Continue with Google. Sign into your account if necessary. Click Continue and make sure to check this box to give Zendesk access to your email account. Then click Continue again. A green check should appear, indicating that your email address has been connected. You will also receive a verification email. Now, let's show you what your customer experience will look like. I'm going to pretend I am a customer and send an email to the customer support team. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to write update to my order in the subject line and write a brief message. Once I click send, you'll see the email from your customer appear in your Zendesk account. Now I have a new ticket, which I will reply to via Zendesk. Simply enter the message into the public reply box and click the submit as button. The submit as button is equivalent to sending the message. But depending on the option you choose, the ticket will be tagged in different ways. As you can see, the email sender receives an email with a response. Now let's see some tips to get your new knowledge to another level. Once your email is connected, create triggers to route tickets to specific agents or groups based on keywords or categories. Ensure your automated email responses reflect your branding by editing the templates in Zendesk. Use Zendesk reporting tools to track response times, ticket resolution rates, and customer satisfaction scores. By connecting your business email to Zendesk, you're one step closer to delivering exceptional customer support. Until next time.